The Ed Ellis Show, brought to you by Papa Bear's Restaurant. Thanks very much, Karina. Hey, I'm Ed Ellis, the world's fastest hands. Six billion people on Earth. I am the fastest. Think of any card you want and say it out loud to me. It can be a three, a five, anything at all. Go ahead. King. Okay, which king? Would you like a club, a diamond, a spade, or a heart? Diamond. Diamond. The king of diamonds. The King of Diamonds should already be gone from this pack of cards. Have you seen the King of Diamonds yet? Yeah. Where at? At home. At home. Okay. He saw the King of Diamonds at home. That's good. At least it's not underneath here yet. Watch the Nine of Diamonds. Okay, say jump. Jump. You wanted the king of diamonds, right? Turn that nine over, see if anything happened. Very, very, very good. I guess it came all the way from home, huh? <laughs> Want to see one more fun thing? Okay. Do you know how to mix cards at all? You know, well, if you kind of go like that or something like that. Okay, so. Just go ahead and mix them up a little bit, okay? I won't watch, go ahead. This is my friend Hunter right here, my new buddy. Okay, very good job, man. Thanks, guy. So, I'll try to memorize the entire order of all of the cards. That should be good. Two of clubs. Hold your hand out like that. We'll place the two right here. Leave it right there. But it's going to jump off of your hand. Watch the joker because if you reach like that, the joker changes into the two. Watch this. And this changes into the joker. And there's the first ace that appears. That's one ace. Now there's other aces in here somewhere. Say stop somewhere. Stop. All right. Beautiful. There's another ace. That's two. Two more. That's a six. There's a seven. Take any card out you'd like. Go ahead. Pull one out of there. Quick, take a card. Did you get an ace? Oh, you got a three. Well, oh, that's right. That's a third ace. There we go. One more ace. We're going to do this for a little finale. The last ace is the ace of clubs, okay? I mean, if I look through here, I should be able to find it, unless it were already gone. Check this out, Hunter. This is called a butterfly cut. It's really cool. There we go. Okay, you're going to do the miracle. Look at this. If I spread these cards out, there are no aces in sight. If I cut the cards, there are no aces in sight. Touch the back of the deck like that. Let's see what happened. Oh, look what you did. Very, very cool. There's the last ace. Thank you. Say hi to everybody at home. Hi. Thank you. This is my friend Hunter. Well, I'm going to do um, more along the lines of the, like, some mental and what's considered miracle stuff. And it's not really a card trick because the use of cards as a vehicle to present that. So like if you name any card, um, and I just produced it from midair, there you go. Name any card. First, all right. Ten of diamonds. Now the idea is if I present it uh, from midair, it wouldn't be in the deck. That's the idea. So, because if you saw it in the deck, that'd be pretty cheesy. Watch this. Nine of uh, spades. Beautiful. Ten of diamonds. Good to start. Good to start. Thanks. Yeah. They're, they're applauding because I caught the card. <laughs> yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah, you know, that's the only reason. Well, let's do some flourishy stuff. 
You know what, if you fan these cards out, that's the size of the fan. I've got some smaller cards, but you've got to kind of shrink them a little bit. There we go, a little bit smaller. But I don't use them a lot. I usually use normal size cards. Every once in a while, I'll do this stuff as a finger exercise, the wild stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, sweet. And every once in a while, if I need to cool off, which is lately, now that'll get me thrown out of any card game in the United States, <laughs> but hopefully it's entertaining for you guys. Well, you know what? Any card that you touch is not in the deck. This is not supposed to make any sense at all, which fits my personality in general, so that's why I do this kind of material. Are you ready? Yeah. Now you can take one out if you want, or all right, or we can just uh, do this. Touch a card in there. Uh, what was the card you touched? No, that's impossible. That's not in the deck. I mean, you might have thought that it was. Come out of there. Oh, that was cool. Wait a minute. Let me show you. There's no card in there, right? Pretty good. I won't look this time. Say stop somewhere. Stop. Do you know what that card is? Yep. Say it out loud. Santa Claus. No, it's not in the deck. Hey, man, you ready? ready? All right, take those cards. We're going to do some stuff that's a little bit on the mind control or a different process, maybe like hypnosis, where I'll actually tell you some things that are going to happen ahead of time. But I want you to mix those cards up, but be very careful not to change the order. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm glad when people laugh at that because when they don't, they must think I'm just dumb and don't know anything about what I'm talking about. Which is another potential possibility. Ah, beautiful. One glance. And I know the order of every card. And I also have a feeling that you're thinking of the five of hearts. Take a card out for me, all right? Pull a card out of there. Show it to the camera first. What the heck? Just think. Is that the five of hearts? That's the five of hearts. <laughs> wow. The Ed Ellis Show will be right back. It's magic. And you can see my show, The Ed Ellis Show, every Thursday night at 7 o'clock. And if you would like to hire me for any private events, be it a fun party at your home or to bring uh, visibility to products at a trade show, and everything in between, I do perform full time. You're welcome to give me a call at cell phone number 843 area code 338 1614. That's my cell, 843 338 1614. Or email is world's fastest hands at yahoo.com. That's world's fastest hands at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching. Poof. All right, all right, what's going on? Let me hear you say, yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. All right, Woo! Boy, I better be good. <laughs> oh, you want to get a picture? Yeah, here we go. Okay, hang on a second. We'll do something fairly cool. Let's right. see if I can get my hands warmed up. There we go. All right, very, very good. Wonderful. I thought it was a little bit of lightning. I wasn't sure what was going on yeah. there. So. Well, I'm just gonna jam a little bit. Here's some of the ooh-ah stuff, right? Shh. Remember, this is the ooh part, and here's the ah part. Ready? Go ahead. Ah. Oh, yes! Trained! This is great. My lovely assistants. <laughs> well, let's see. Shh. Oh, somebody can't see. Who can't see over there? Oh, hey, how you doing back there? Hi. You'll have to just look closer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll try to do my best. All right, let's rock a little bit. Well, you know what? Uh, what the heck? Name any card. Just name a card. Put me in the spot. Name a card. Eight hearts. Eight of hearts. Beautiful. Uh, great. Eight of hearts. Wonderful. Why do I have a deck of cards that there's no eight of hearts showing up? This makes no sense. <laughs> this is, you know, this is a great opening. Like, if you're not a magician. <laughs> okay. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, no oh, come on. No way. Seriously. Oh, oh, I'm not sure. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, something good's going on there. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. All right. <laughs> That's a truest, that's a, she still got the you are thing going on. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Well, you did awfully good. Uh, name another card. Four of clubs. Four of clubs, fine. Now see, there's no reason that I really, that's really weird. No four of clubs anywhere. Oh, here, pull a card out, would you? Anyone at all? And show it to the quick take one and show it to the camera. Okay. Did you get the four clubs? No. Oh, hang on. I got a card right here just in case. Oh my I don't know if that's. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now remember if I ever don't get the right card. I have one more shoe. <laughs> we always have an option. <laughs> well, how would you like to see uh, three different demonstrations? May I show you a blackjack demonstration? Okay, there's a thing, a card mechanic as myself or sleight of hand artist in the entertainment realm of things. A card mechanic is more known because that guy can do anything with a deck of cards. He can do a thing called <gasps> hiding a card in his hand. Wait till you see this. We'll just take a card out of the center of the deck. Doesn't really matter what it is. Okay, we're gonna feature the Ace of Spades right out of the center of the deck. Ace of Spades, okay? Check this out. Ace of Spades. Just cut the cards a few times. Kind of fancy, but not terribly fancy. And one card will just jump that fast into my pocket. The Ace of Spades. Now there's definitely nothing here in my pocket, nothing here, nothing here. <laughs> 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 Laughter at my own expense, <laughs> whatever works. Now remember that's one Ace of Spades. So how fast is fast? Well, I was voted world's fastest hands because I had to do some kind of a technical demonstration to acquire that name. Well, watch this. There's the Ace of Diamonds, there's the Ace of Spades in the center of the deck, all right? I'll show you that it's most definitely in the middle. There is the Ace of Spades. Watch the Ace of Diamonds. You just cast a shadow like that over it, and that fast, it'll change into the Ace of Spades. There's the Ace of Diamonds. There are two more Aces in here. I can look for them, which really isn't all that exciting, or you can see a card change. Now watch, we'll go to slow motion. There's the king of clubs. It'll never leave your eyes, and the king of clubs will become the third ace. Thanks, thank you. I'm warm, thank you very much. I'm warming up. Uh, well, I wish I could find the last ace. That would probably be pretty easy. Um, how about if I just cut anywhere? This is called a dead cut, where you just reach over and cut the cards and I did not get an ace. Maybe it appeared, hang on a second. Oh, there we go, now watch, watch. Watch it, watch it, see it, ace of hearts? All I'm gonna do is set it down on the table, but that fast it'll go right through the table and be replaced by something else, see? There we go. Okay, now we're gonna slow it down a little bit. Check this out, four aces, okay? We'll just think in colors uh, for a moment, okay? Um, I don't know what we're going to get here. Okay, the Ace of uh, Hearts here and the uh, Ace of Diamonds here. Say jump. Jump. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just wow. like this. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. nice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Good job, Chris. More of the Ed Ellis Show right after this. You're watching Hometown Television, WIVM-TV52, Canton Maslin, and WIVN-TV29, New Philadelphia, Coshocton. Hi, I'm Ed Ellis. We're here at Papa Bear's Restaurant in Canton, Ohio. Uh, I'm sure you're seeing people having a good time here, enjoying some great food. Well, this is a part of the show that just between you and me, I do just for you because I want this to be full 
of clarity and no distractions at all. So I'm going to feature one, two, three, and the last ace, okay? Watch. Just like his. Four entertainers. For a second, don't even pay attention that they're aces, though they are. Well, entertainers would never entertain very well with their back to the audience like they are now. So we'll see which one is in the mood to entertain. The most important thing is that you see four face down cards and there we go, beautiful. Out of nowhere, one card will appear, the ace of hearts. Three face down cards, just like this. But in a moment's notice, another one will appear, the ace of diamonds. The Ace of Clubs is definitely face down and it too will appear. Now what's the last one? Single-handedly, it'll go to the bottom just like this. It's one face down card, the Ace of Spades. But it also is a great performer. Now watch these four cards because all I'm going to do is turn one over. But if you turn one over, they all follow in a moment's notice. And that's some magic just for you guys at home with the four aces. Stop in at Papa Bear's for some great food anytime. If cards just touch each other, why in the world would they actually be able to melt less like this into two other cards? I think I call it the chameleon effect, that little reptile out west that can change and adapt to surroundings, sometimes color. Look at this, if these are away from the deck, if I show you the diamonds and hearts and they touch, they still become oh my God. the other two cards. Now at this point in time, I gotta tell you the truth. I gotta tell you the truth. People say, how do you do that? Well, my dad still wonders, why do I do it? That's a little bit of fun with four aces. There we go. Warm it up. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Okay, let me find the last jack. How do you do that? <laughs> how do you do that? Fast, daddy, oh, fast. <laughs> Faster than the other guy. <laughs> okay.